Hello, welcome to this demo of Cloud Native Runtimes, source code to workload. I'm Dan Basket with VMware Technical Marketing. So let's get started. I've defined some simple Tecton pipelines that use Tanzu build servers to build containers, Cloud Native Runtimes to run the containers, and the Flux GitOps toolkit to watch our Git repository for changes. This file contains a couple different definitions. It's going to define where our container is stored in our container registry. So if we take a look there, we'll see that that container does not yet exist. And it's also going to find the Git repository that's going to be the source of the container image. And we can take a look there. And we'll see it's the Spring Pet Clinic repo. So if we apply that workload, that'll kick off my pipelines. And if we watch within our Kubernetes cluster, we'll see the build process actually begin. And that's happening because Tanzu Build Service, which takes source code and builds to a OCI container image, is actually running on this cluster. So if we take a look inside that uh, Spring Pet Clinic build process, we'll see a couple different steps going on. First is it's going to determine which build packs it needs to build the container, and then it'll build the container. So I've done some time lapse here to make the container build go a little faster. And once that's complete, it will actually go and export that container to our container registry. And there it shows the location it'll be stored. So if we take a look in our container registry now, we see this Spring Pet Clinic container image is stored. But we also can look at Octet and we see a K-native workload running that is Spring Pet Clinic. So I look at my Kubernetes cluster again, I can now see this Spring Pet Clinic deployment has started up. So it's built a container and then it's started to run the container. So if we take a look at that URL, we'll see Spring Pet Clinic is actually running in the, in the cluster. If I make a change to my source code, I'll just make a quick uh, change and commit it here directly on GitHub. Uh, we'll see the build process kick back off and start to build the new version of that container. You'll also notice that the original deployment terminated. That's the default behavior in Knative, which is scale to zero. So here I'll start a loop process that will basically just curl that website, which will make the deployment scale back up. So here we'll see it launched back up and now it's running again. And that wraps up my very quick demo of Cloud Native Runtimes Source Code to Workload. Thanks for watching.